Hi and welcome back to another Shopify theme development tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom text area field that allows your customers to provide additional information about their orders. So for example, if you're a merchant that sells customizable t-shirts, if you're selling t-shirts that allows your customers to write something else in here, then this video is for you. So I have here an example. I have a product called Customizable Couple Ring and I've created created a text area where I can write whatever and if I click the add to cart button it's going to add this product here and if I open the cart page as you can see I do have here the um, the property or the attribute called text engravings and I have the text that I've entered so this is what we're going to create in this video before we start, I'd like to mention that this tutorial is probably just going to work with themes such as Dawn or themes created by Shopify themselves. If you have used or if you're using a Shopify theme um, that you purchased outside of the Shopify theme store, then this video is probably not going to work for you. Although I'll try my best to give you an idea how this works so you can apply it to your Shopify themes. But if you have purchased a Shopify theme, my advice is to contact the developer of your Shopify theme instead of um, doing it yourself. Because uh, honestly, I don't recommend you work on it, if, especially if you don't have experience writing codes. So with that being said, let's start working if you're ready. All right, let's go back to our computer. And here I am in the um, theme editor and I have opened the default product. As you can see here, I am in the products and I'm opening the default product. And in the template called product information, we can add a block or for now, I'll just get rid of the custom liquid here. I'll remove this because we're going to work on it from scratch. So in the product information section, create a new block by pressing this add block button and select the custom liquid like i said if you're using a different shopify theme you might not be able to find this custom liquid block but if you're using a shopify theme created by shopify then you should find the custom liquid okay and in the custom liquid we can create the text area using html tag called text area and don't forget to close the text area like so now what i'm going to do is to Maximize my settings so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Settings and appearance, and I'll just maximum the page zoom to 150% so you guys can see the custom liquid that I'm writing, okay? And in the text area tag, we're going to use two attributes, and that is the name and the form. This attributes are very important for this to work. So for the name, we're going to use the properties and then we need to provide or we need to use the angle bracket notation. And inside of this, we're going to name this text underscore engravings or you can change this to whatever you want. For example, text, um, custom text custom underscore text okay so properties use the angle bracket notation and then in the angle bracket notation type custom underscore text okay next up is the form attribute for the form attribute we need to refer to the form id of the product template so if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about the form ID that you will find in the source code. So if you right click on the add to cart button, and if you click the inspect elements, you should find the following elements tab and the code. And here I do have the form with an action cart add. And we're going to put in the form attribute is the product form template, this value itself, okay? So what we can do is we can copy this and we can go back to the theme editor and by pasting that ID here in the form attribute, okay? So now if we save this and if we open our product page, 
and we can scroll down and type something here. For example, this is an example text, okay? So now if we click the add to cart button, it should add the product. And if we open the cart page, as you can see, now we have the custom text attribute and it's set to, this is an example text. And there you go, as you can see, now it's working. That's how easy it is to create a custom property for your products. But the problem here is that it's not very maintainable. So what we can do is to customize the value of the form attribute. So if we go back to the theme editor, as you can see, it's set to product hyphen form hyphen template and the following number. I'm not even gonna bother mentioning this, but if you notice, there's a pattern here. First is product hyphen form hyphen and then template hyphen and then the ID of the section. Okay, so how can we find this? We can find this by using the object section um, that ID attribute. So if we type something above the text area and if we use the object section, we can find the attribute called ID, okay? And if we go back to the blocks and just drag the custom liquid um, just above the quantity, quantity selector, as you can see, we do have now the section ID here. And this is what we're looking for. So if we go back to the block custom liquid, we can use the section ID here in the form attribute instead of instead of directly using template and then this id underscore main, we can use the section.id object here. We can interpolate the value of section.id here. So use the object section.id and that should still work. Now for other Shopify themes, all you need to do is just to look for the form, okay? So if we go back to the product, right click the add to cart, inspect elements, and then look for this form and find the ID. Okay. If you're using a different Shopify theme, all you need to do is just to look for the ID of the form that sends the product to the cart. So if you find it, look for the ID attribute and just copy the ID. Okay. But just be careful with its value because most of the time it's using the section.id. So if you find product hyphen form hyphen template or if it starts with template, most of the time it's the section.id. Okay? So we can go back to the theme editor and we can save this. It should still work. But if you notice, the, um, the text area is kind of not looking good. So we can customize this by using um, classes. So if we click the custom liquid block, we can now get a read of the section.id. This time we're going to use the class and we can set it to text hyphen area like that. Okay. And it should maximize. This is only going to work for Shopify themes like Dawn. But if you are using a different theme, um, that is created by other developers, then your class is probably going to be different. I recommend contacting the developer of your Shopify theme instead of copying what I'm doing here. This is only going to work for done, okay? So now it's maximized like so. I can type something here and it's looking great. If you want, you can add another attribute called placeholder. And for its value, you can set it to type your message or your custom text here. And that should display the following placeholder text. Awesome. So now we can save this. And now our product page should look like this. Now, another problem here is that if I leave this empty and if I click add to cart button, it's still going to continue. And if I view my cart, as you can see, there is no custom text here. If you don't want your customers to skip the text area, what you can do is to directly customize the form tag because currently 
our form tag is using an attribute called no validate. So let's say I right click the add to cart button and if I click inspect and if you noticed this form tag is using an attribute called no validate. If you want your customers to not skip this text area, you can use the attribute called required and then get rid of that attribute no validate from the form. So let's try that. Going back to the theme editor, I'm going to add another attribute for the text area. I can just do it above the class and I'll type required. I'll save this and then we can open the theme code editor by opening the edit code page. And now we're here in the theme code editor. What you can do is to look for the sections um, folder and look for the main product.liquid. So once again, in the sections folder, look for main product.liquid. This is just for theme done. Once again, this is for theme done. If you're using a different Shopify theme, the file name probably is going to be different, okay? So I am in the main product.liquid. I am going to look for that form. So I'm going to look for form. So I'm here in the product form. And this form is for the product form installment. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the form for the add to cart button. So we do have here the quantity input. Okay, so before we continue, there's one thing that caught my interest, and that is the input tag for the quantity input. If you notice, we do have the following form attribute. And as you can see, we're using the same product hyphen form hyphen, and then we interpolated the object or the value of the section dot id. So basically, we're doing the same thing here. We're referring to we're referring to the form with an id called product hyphen form hyphen, and then the section dot id. So basically, what this means is this input field belongs to that form with an id product hyphen form hyphen template, and then the id underscore underscore main okay so with that said let's just continue and look for that form i cannot find it but it should be over here so form this is it the product form and we do have here the no validate attribute you can get rid of this if you don't want your customers to skip the text area so I can just get rid of that, hit save, and now if I go back to my product, I can just try to add to cart, and it's going to tell me to fill out this field. Now if I type something here, this is a ring. And as you can see, now it's working. So we do have here the custom underscore text attribute or property, and its value is set to this is a ring. So there you have it, that's how you create a custom text area field without even touching your Shopify theme, just by using the custom liquid block. But like I said, if you don't want your uh, your customers to skip the text area, unfortunately, you're gonna have to, you'll have to get rid of that no validate attribute from your form. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have questions, if you have a request, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll work on it. In the next video. Um, it's been a while since I worked on this kind of video. I've been working on different projects and I hope I get to show them to you guys um, later this year. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.